the direct authority over the Gada in power. Uh, Albagada and Kamlu are on the same plane, but with different functions. Ritual functions here and political functions on the other side. But within the Gada institution itself, that there are rituals, the rituals of passage. Jilla, many rituals, which I'll show you on the Gada cycle later. Who guides those rituals? A man named Boku, who is in the Ruwa as the ritual authority of the Ruwa to perform the rituals. So when the Boku is guiding the ritual, he blesses, the Abagala receives the blessings. When the political decision making is being made, the Abagala is in charge and he's marginalized. So there is a little bit of power of ritual kind within the Gada institution. But otherwise, there is the division between Gada and Kalu is quite sharp. Borbor uh, Bure, who was uh, one of my uh, teachers, uh, had quite an encounter with me at one point. I said to him, Borbor, uh, all the rituals that I attended in Borana, they say something. Uh, they say, Jilebeka, Jilebeka, which means respect the, 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 the rituals, honor the rituals, obey the rituals. And I asked him, do they say that in the Bumigayo? Do they do in order to maintain order within Bumigayo? Oh, okay, all right. Do, do, they, do, do they say that in Bumigayo? And uh, Borbor was very angry. He said, how can you ask that question? That is nonsense. Bumigayo is not Jila. Bumigayo, Jila Miti. Fulagilamity, uh, Fulagilamity, is, is how we put it. Kubigar is not the place of ritual, it's the place of war. I said, what do you mean? He says, the people who lead Kubigayo are the warriors, not the ritual leaders. So there, in, in my mind, for the first time, the, the division between the ritual leaders and the political leaders became very sharp. So there is connection between Kalu and Abagada. Of course, Abagada, Abagada de depends on the blessings of the, of the Kalu. The Kalu defend, depends on the protection of the Ravagada. The Kalu cannot protect himself, he's not armed. They cannot bear arms, they cannot kill animals, they cannot even slaughter, slaughter livestock. So, in order to be, to be protected, they need the, the, the assistance of the Ravagada and of the Hariya, the, who are the age organization, okay? So, uh, let's go down to the Hariya. Hariya is simply an age organization. Everybody who was born during a particular uh, Gada, particular Gada period, that is, what the Morana is just called Gada, born during Gada of so-and-so. I was born during the Gada of Charles uh, Levan. It means that to the, all the people who were born at that period form one age group. So the entire nation is organized as a series of age groups. Everybody goes through the stages of age and the stages of Gada. There are two completely different cycles but with two different function, functions. Uh, so that's enough for the, uh, for the big picture. 